Hi everyone, so in our previous video we were working on our packages uh, section and we styled and built the headers for our packages. So now let's start working on the contents and over here we have uh, like again the four divs going on within the flex container. So these four divs are the flex items. So let's start building it and the text of all of this is given in the write up file. So let's start doing it uh, back to our Visual Studio code and we already have like you know kind of this packages div over here and then the card over here we can use that also but uh, like uh, there are not too many properties which are common yeah there are only few so I would rather uh, you know put it a different one just to be sure that exactly what I'm doing and not to make it complicated okay so let's call this uh, this is our flex container so the first thing we need the flex container and we're gonna need uh, name it let's call it packages text div and inside that we're gonna have four divs and we're gonna call it packages text card okay and for the moment let me just have empty four divs and we will just we I just want to style these first so what I am going to do so packages text div that's our flex container display is going to be flex for now that's it and packages text card and over here flex is going to be one and then background color and that's going to be primary three and because we don't have any content and if we need to see that we need to give it a bit of a width and height so I'm gonna say width is going to be 100% and height is going to be let's give it 500 pixel for now and let's have a look so we have not given any margin yet so it's gonna look at as one big div over here so now to give it the margin so we're going to do the same thing as we did earlier and let's have a look that uh, what was the margin so that was four rem i can copy this oops where it is or rather let's do it over here so what i need to do i need to say packages text card and i don't want to select the first of type and margin left and that's going to be 4rem and if I look at it now so that's exactly what I wanted the way those are looking absolutely fine only thing I just need to give the border radius on the on on the bottom left and bottom right so let's do that and also one more thing maybe I can give a little bit of shadow as well to this one so let's see how that would look so border bottom left radius that's three pixel border bottom right radius that's three pixel and then box shadow and three pixel in the X three pixel in the Y 30 pixel as blur and RGBA zero black we go with black and then maybe 0.3 30% so let's see okay so yeah I have this going on for second third and fourth but not for the first one I think I think I gave it at the wrong place so yeah not here actually let me cut this from here and I need to have it on my packages text card and I'll have it here and if I look at it now yeah this is looking good now yeah 
Uh, okay, so I can reduce the transparency a bit more or 0.2 and 0.2 is fine. X and Y also you can reduce if you want to so maybe one pixel I just want it to be very subtle and yeah this is fine okay now let's start working on the contents and uh, I can now take out the width and height <coughs> excuse me and the moment I do that I don't have it over there because there is no content but yes these divs are there so now I can first start working on my first one and my content would be only in the first one but then all others will be having only the background because by default the flex items they are stretched vertically yeah and that's exactly the behavior what we are looking for so first i have uh, the price so let's call it price p dot price and what exactly dollar 450 and uh, I want to text align as well center for all my packages text card so text align and that's going to be center and the moment I do that my text all of the text what I'm gonna write would be in the center okay so that's my price now after the price I have a horizontal rule so HR and I'm gonna call it price HR okay we're gonna style it later and then I will be having the text and that's going to be P dot and let's just call it package text okay and let me see what exactly it is so this is plus taxes and fee let me first copy this a few times now I can change it we first delete all of this and the second text is 20 hours online then 10 hours home link after that 10 hours in car pick up and drop offs available and that's it yeah so let me take this out and then I have an anchor tag and that's btn main one pointing to nowhere and I would say register now and let's have a look oops okay so now I need to start styling this and what else I need it over here so if I look at my actual design so over here I have a horizontal rule going on after each of the text here as well so this can be done in the CSS also and this can be done over here also up to you so I'm gonna say hr dot text hr yeah let me copy this and paste it after each of my paragraph element and that's it okay so here it is how it is looking at the moment so now we would start styling it so first thing is my price so font size let's give it something really big we'll start with 4m and font weight 400 or maybe even more than that yeah 600 is fine okay I need to give it a bit of a padding so padding is going to be let's give one RAM and this is looking fine okay after that my price HR width is going to be let's say 50% or rather 40 percent border is going to be one pixel here i need a dashed border and the color is going to be primary one and yeah here it is now this is uh, my inline block 
element it's not a text element so for that margin left and that's going to be auto margin right and that's going to be auto and here it is yeah so this is my price element now price hr and the, uh, the, the the heading now the next one is package text font size font size let's try with 1.6 ram uh, yeah, maybe a little bit bigger 1.7 ram that's fine and the next thing is uh, after the font size we can work on the padding so the padding is going to be we'll start with one ram and let's have a look yeah it's already looking good at the moment can i increase a little bit yes i think i can 1.5 and yeah 1.5 is fine okay now for the horizontal rule which is my text hr text hr so width is going to be 40 percent and border is going to be one pixel solid and i'm gonna give the color of primary two so that's a bit light okay it's coming too thick but we're gonna take care of that in a second and margin left margin left that's going to be auto and margin right that's going to be auto yeah now i want to have this uh, horizontal rule really lightened so how i can do that rather than saying primary two let me grab the hex code for it so this is the one and i'm gonna control the transparency of it so this is my color rather than saying primary two and then we can hover over and go back to rgb and control the alpha so let's put something like 0.4 and let's see yeah looking good but we can reduce it even further 0.2 and yeah point two is fine okay i think we are doing exactly what we want to yeah that's how we want to do it okay so for the moment this is fine um, i think i can increase the padding for this price element a little bit more so it stands out a bit so that is my price and padding on the top and bottom 2 rem and 0 on the left and right mm, yep yeah, that's okay all right so this is my first element now simply what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the text in all the others and for that now i can copy this one this my text card and i'm gonna paste it for my second one then for my third one and fourth one i'm gonna take out this is my third element this is my fourth element and if i go back yeah that's how it looks like now I'll, all i need to do i need to start changing the content of it and then we will worry about the placement of register now because it's it's really you know does not, it, it does not have any padding at the moment uh, so it's really at the edge that we would uh, control later but first let's change the content so go back to my visual studio code and here is my write-up so here this is 600 so that's my first and this is second 600 and this is same this is same here rather than 10 hours this is 11 hours and that's it 11 hours yeah then my third element so over here the price is 750 and 
this is same and only 15 hours in the car then let's go to the last one and the last one is having dollar 700 and 2010 and then again 11 hours in the car and that's going to be 11 hours in the car and then there is one additional text over here let me copy this and in fact before I copy that I need to copy a paragraph element from here and I'll paste it and I need one horizontal rule also and now I can copy the text again and replace it over here yeah and so now let's see so yeah this is fine now we just need to change the font color of this one and the weight of this one because this last line this looks uh, it, it stands out a little bit so I'm gonna call it this is text premium and dot text premium so color and that's going to be secondary one I guess and then font weight and let's give it 400 and yeah this is fine that's exactly how I want it now in terms of my padding and the uh, alignment of this register now button that we're gonna do in the next video